Hello everyone, it's Nivan, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a game engine and it's available for free. The link is down in the description, you can download it and follow along. Today I will be talking about CopperCube 6 sample games which come with the program when you download it. As many of you know, I've talked about this. When you start the CopperCube 6 program, uh, this is the screen that you get, but actually if you go to File and click on New, and it says, are you sure you want to create a new file? All changes to the current file will be lost. You click OK, and you get this little window. It says, new 3D app. You have two choices. You have one to create your own 3D app with all the behaviors and actions, or you can open example app. We should choose this one and click OK. And as you can see, we have all six preloaded files. And now I will be going over them. So let's start with terrain. If we click on terrain and we click OK, it will have pre-made terrain with pre-made behaviors and actions and environment. As you can see, we have our player. It's a third-person camera setup, which I've talked about in my previous videos. Uh, we also have the bloom effect. We should uh, definitely cancel that because it's for the paid version. We go to scenes, we go to scene post effects, and we unclick bloom. And then we go to publish and let's play. And as you can see, we have our character. He runs in the water and around this little house. And I'm not using my mouse. He just runs like that. So this is the pre-made game. And what you can do with this is you can create your own game on top of this or use some mechanics to improve your own games. For example, you can delete terrain and you can uh, create your own terrain. Let's click on default terrain. And if we press publish, it creates our own terrain, and it's pretty nice. So this is for people who want to uh, learn how uh, things work in CopperCube and uh, they want to showcase their game, for example. Now, if we click on File, let's click New, okay? And let's see another one. Another one is Physics. So if we click OK, this is the Physics. So I will click Play and I'll explain everything. This is basically the physics simulation which you can do in CopperCube. I haven't talked about this, but uh, there is physics engine in CopperCube 6, although there is one big problem that physics engine and collision does not work together. Now, what I'm talking about. If you go to publish and you go to this little settings thing, uh, and you go to windows.exe, as you can see, it's physics simulation. You can have only collision or you can have physics simulation. Now, if I click on only collision, click OK and play this, we won't have the physics at all. And also it says the warning message, as you can see, that the app contains behaviors using the physics engine, but it's not enabled. You can enable the physics engine in the publishing settings. So that's basically what this is about. And I will be also doing the physics uh, tutorial with CopperCube 6, but this basically is to showcase one of the sample games which is made in the CopperCube. Let's go new. Next, we have first-person shooter. And here we are. We have a first-person shooter, pre-made map with pre-made assets and actions. We click on play, and you can see this is a scene with the house. It's a decent house, with decent lighting, and uh, decent gameplay. You can use this as your sample to make something, maybe a horror game or a first-person shooter. I usually am very fond of horror games. You might know this, you might not, but uh, yeah, basically, every time I look at everything, I think, wow, this would make a great horror game. <laughs> so yes, this is um, pretty neat. You can use this, and uh, you can change some things. As I said, uh, you can, for example, delete uh, this soldier. Let's click on delete. You can delete some lights. You can delete the uh, skybox like this. You can create your own skybox using prefabs. We can go down here and load, you know, a blue skybox. And now this will uh, change the environment, and this will be a different environment. You can use this as you please. Next file we should be going over is uh, character animation. Now, if you click on character animation, it would uh, transfer you to the online link, which allows you to have a character animation showcased. Also, model viewer. Let's click on model viewer. Viewer. So this is basically just a model viewer. If you go and play, uh, press publish, uh, this is all it does. It just showcases the uh, 
material, let's say the model which you created, this might be a tank, this might be something that you have, maybe uh, uh, this this might be, you know, a character, for example, if we go to prefabs once again, we can have a character like an animated man, we can place him right here, let me place it here, and just click play, and, oh, hold on, oh, he's way over there, okay, now, now he's on the ground, so if you click play, and you can see now our character just moving around. Yeah, that's basically just showcasing. And we have our last pre-made game sample, which is effects. Now, effects is a great uh, sample. If we click on play, as you can see, there is a 3D animation with some uh, water simulation and fire and actually particle system. This looks really nice. Actually, this uh, particle system is done very well and the guy can also uh, like shoot fire like this and create like fire around him this is pretty dope now this can also be used in different uh, ways to take a sample actually i've used this to study uh a particle system because as you can see you can go down in the property section and you can see uh what uh, properties does this have and how it's used and you can change them uh, however you want for example you can change them to white and let me do a little thing here you can actually make it snow like that and uh, well this doesn't look like snow but uh, if you have the correct texture uh, you can make it so this will be like snow if you have correct texture you can also make this to be rain that's basically it let's go to create new okay and yes we are back to our default cube and this was it for the tutorial. As I said, this was just a showcase of pre-made samples for Copper Cube 6. And I just wanted to tell you that you can use those samples to uh, learn and research over the games which you want to make. For example, I showed you the sample with the effects. If you want your game to have effects like shooting fire or rain or snow, you can actually go and uh, up, uh, upload uh, uh, those things and learn from this. And it's a great way to self-learn things in Copper Cube Six. That's basically how I did learn some of the things and actually that helped me a lot with uh, kind of figuring out what, where and how uh, the engine worked. So it's a great way. Once again, I'm telling this uh, at the end of every uh, Copper Cube tutorial that uh, it's all about your work, it's all about the dedication, about your own research and how you do things, how you brainstorm. It's up to your imagination to make everything possible. Uh, the limit is only your capability of working and your capability of uh, coming up with the, the story for the game or the mechanics for the game. The rest is just very simple. It just takes time, it takes work, and it takes learning. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for great support that you showed me, and uh, have a nice day.